An ominous rainstorm darkens the city of light. Ilse Clench reporting from Paris for the unveiling of Tommy Hilfiger's first ever haute couture line. That's right, the designer who's dressed us down for so long wants to dress us up for a change. Let's watch. Simply mad. Stop! Stop everything! This, uh, this charade must end. I'm sorry. That woman is my maid. That, that, that man is my bodyguard. In a wig! I had no choice. Someone stole all my models. These are... Non people. Normal people on the runway. Oh, humanity. Absolutely perfect. He'll figure down. One by one, I will ruin them all. <sighs> Spy Groove. File number Alpha 7 Betty 1. Codename Ski Cats. At the Maxi Bar. A low key, high profile drink stand. Agent number one and agent number two sharpen the edge on the high tech weaponry known as their brands. G7, K12, C4, A2. Right. He's like my battleship. Huh. Hey, boys. Mac. It's Mac, the agent's straight shooting cocktail slinger. Is that a 44 caliber laser targeting semi automatic in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? We don't carry guns. Mm -mm. The usual? You know the way we like it. I know what I've been told. This this new stealth, no more tears, mace alternative sucks. Explain. It's too big to fit into any pocket without looking like complete crap. Observe. Breast? No breast. Okay, but the uh, major suck factor of the thing is that it's a stealth object, yeah. meaning secret. Yeah. And uh, even Mac can see it bulging in your pants. And result, you wind up looking stupid. Yeah, but what's worse, the fact that you look stupid or the fact that you might actually be stupid? Are you saying I'm stupid? I'm simply posing a question. Agent number one receives a call on his digital satellite link breath spray phone. Available in Cool Peppermint and Jiggy Wintergreen. It's Helena Troy. She's their boss. She's a brick house. She's mighty mighty. What's up, boss? Kidnapping. It's Fashion Week in Paris, and the ultra supermodels are a lot more than just fashionably late. Mission? Uh -huh. Every bony ass one of them. All the models received invites to ski lift. An elite ski resort slash deep pamper spa hidden in the Swiss Alps. Who signed the invites? The Contessa. A wannabe clothing designer known to the fashion world only as the Contessa. Hmm. Now, boys, check under your table for some samples of her work. Hmm. This could get ugly. <gasps> My eyes! Looks like it already has. Watch your step, boys. A trip down this runway could be a one-way catwalk straight into hell. I'd rather be stupid. Explain. Well, because if I just look stupid, then I could still be smart enough to know that I look stupid. And that, that would be a misery. That would be complete hell. Feel good. You are now entering the skillet lodge. Hello, enormously attractive gentleman. My name is Bonnie von Schnickel. <laughs> it is my pleasure to welcome you to ski lift. But as you can see, we have no vacancies. Also, sadly, goodbye. <gasps> Hello, gentlemen. Do I know you? I'm agent number two. And I'm agent number one. Ah, spies. <gasps> I stand Kate provided. Are you here on the business? Oh, the pleasure. A little from column A. And a little from column B. Well then, I am the Contessa. Allow me to show you what everyone else is here for. My very unique spa. Right this way, gentle veins. Feel relaxed. You are now entering the total body slapping room. What in the world, unfortunately? Here, the spa guest is slapped all over until their body is beat red. The dog will not be loyal to you. Then... Verbally humiliated until they develop a pink tinge in the face from the shame of Someday it. Someday you will work at the DMV and no one will like you. The slapping and the embarrassment bring much needed blood to the surface of the skin. Hmm. Follow. Still flaky. 
You are now entering the exfoliation chamber. In this room, the Spargus lies in a large tray of North African sand containing thousands of Tunisian sand mites. The tiny creatures scurry all over your body, feasting on the top few layers of the dead skin. Then, sterilized monkeys are released. They pick off the mites and eat them. Isn't it fabulous? It's totally organic. This is a bed of nails. None of this sounds very relaxing. This is Switzerland. Pretty security for a fluffed-up vanity clinic. Oh, let me explain. Through that door is the lift portion of Ski Lift. It is the place where the rich and fancy secretly come to have their faces lifted, their boobies lifted, and their boobies lifted. They name it. You lift it. You got it. And you, Mr. Spyman number two, might be interested in Dr. Ken's ego-enhancing, id-reducing, total body and facial makeover. <laughs> me? Come on. Why not? No one would have to know. Here at Ski Lift, we are bound and gagged, contractually, of course, to take the secret to our graves. Our mud bath is absolutely unique. The mud is shipped in daily from Mount Vesuvius. Sparman! Alert. Launch points in the following segment are considered classified. Please, it's nothing I haven't seen before. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> Gentlemen. to tell you the most unique thing about that mud bath. It's bottomless. Whoops. Sparman! <laughs> we walked right into this, didn't we? Well, you did. What were you doing? I, I was following you. <laughs> you won't be doing that again. <laughs> we're gonna die. Feel peaceful. You are now entering oblivion. Spy Groove, file number Alpha 7 Betty 1, Part 2. Inconveniently bound beneath Vesuvian mud. The agents enjoy the Contessa's latest spa treatment. Dying. I need the answer to one question before I leave this world. Can I make it quick? Do I look stupid? Or you'll, you'll, you look, uh. Just before the agents fade into the hereafter. <laughs> this just really are timely. Too long in some mud can sometimes be bad for the skin. I imagine dying is very bad for the skin. Here, I brought you Jumbo Moist Alert to freshen up for the big party tonight. How will I lies me to take again? Or is this après ski thing death free? Shh. Please, the Contessa is sneak previewing her new Contessa wear at the Slopeside Fashion Show. There is no danger. Danger. Meet me on the bunny slope in an hour. Best regards, Bunny Von Schnickel. P.S. Tell the Contessa nothing. <laughs> Too late. I know everything. Dr. Ken, cancel all your appointments. It's bunny hunting season. Exactly one hour later, the agents race to the bunny slope on their fully loaded Ducati snowmobile cycles. Just tell me, am I stupid looking and don't know it? I can take it. Contessa's a maniacal killer. Who cares if she thinks you need plastic surgery? Where's Bunny? Please, please, I need to know. Am I the Backstreet Boys in robot costumes? Explain. You know, thinking you look cool, dressed like a robot. I'm actually looking stupid. Yeah. No, you're not that. Here comes Bunny. Wait, that's not Bunny. That's Kate Moss. Pooh. Why'd she do that? Because, uh, she's escaping. But why is she escaping? But because she's a supermodel who's been kidnapped. Oh, see. I don't think of her as a supermodel. I think of her as just, you know... Kate. Yeah, plain Kate. Okay. Well, right now, think of her as someone who can tell us what's going on here. Okay. I'll go after the escaping kidnapped supermodel. I'll go find the missing bunny. Hey! Hey! Wait up! I'm here to save you! Oh. Ouch. Kate! Thank God we found you. The time is wasting. Shut up and help me. You okay? I need the help. Kate, where are the other models? Oh my God, did that control your brain? <laughs> nah, that's ridiculous. I know. You're mad at me. Look, I was a little tied up in Bolivia. I mean, actually hogtied and tethered to a scud missile, but I got your page about going bowling. Bowling? I hate the bowling. Pathetic striking of the little pins with the heavy balls. Ugh. Citizen, fall in. <laughs> Citizen? Talk. Agent number two contacts agent number one on a sport watching talkie personal global positioning communication system and timepiece. The Kate Moss I just talked to spoke with some weird, wacky ass Eastern European accent and claims to hate bowling. Hmm. Fake Moss? Definitely. Wow. I guess I'm not as dumb as I look. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. Out. Yes. 
anybody. Why, look, I had to sneak in this one schnickle in Shriggles. Say that ten times fast. This sneak in this one schnickle in Shriggles. This sneak in this one schnickle in Shriggles. What is this, a Mel Brooks movie? This one schnickle in Shriggles. Shut up, schnickle. Allow me to introduce you to Dr. Ken. An absolute pleasure. He will be giving away a personal demonstration of the specialty of the house. <laughs> Mr. Spyman number one, meet actor Corey Haim. He's been studying you on the surveillance camera. My manager promised me that this uncredited cameo performance will give my career a certain hipness that has eluded me since The Lost Boys. Dude, I would seriously seek new representation. Stop all the schmooze festing! Don't you want to see what you came here to find? Behold! The ultra supermodels of the world! Without them, the other fashion shows were ruined, leaving my upcoming show to be the only hit of the season. Soon, every woman on the planet will be wearing my own Contessa wear. And you expect those models to go along with this? Ah, are you crazy? Those whiny bitches are a pain in my newly tucked ass. No, with the help of Dr. Ken's revolutionary new plastical surgical procedure, I've made my very own copies of those skinny twig demons. What'll you do with the real ones? Kill them. Lady, you are pure evil. <laughs> you flatter me, Mr. Spyman number one. Dr. Ken... Lights. Camera. Surgery. Now just relax, this won't hurt you a bit. First, digital cameras record the original physical image. That would be you, Mr. Spyman number one. Then, lasers carve the digitally recorded image onto someone else's flesh. That would be you, Corey. Finally, we use a patented quick-healing collagen treatment, instantly restoring the human copy to perfect health. Oh, way awesome. Corey, you'll be happy to know the operation was a super success. Mr. Spyman number one, offer salutations to Mr. Spyman number one. This cute, absolutely identical you is going to kill Mr. Spyman number two. Wicked cool. You, shut up. Spy Crew, Final Number Alpha 7 Betty-1, Part 3. Belly to the Snow, Agent Number 2 scopes out the strange behavior of the Contessa's counterfeit ultra supermodels. Okay, major free cut. Contact Agent Number 1, send. Sorry, looking for me? My automated seaweed body wrapping device will wrap you tighter and tighter and tighter until you are silky smooth and dead. That's one hardcore beauty treatment. I try. I really do. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. The next time we meet, you'll be one big human sushi roll. Hold the wasabi. <laughs> Agent number one, how are we ever going to get out of this? Use the clan slope side of the very exclusive sneak preview of the House of Contessa's new line. With all the fashion house disasters this season, she's the only one to watch. Let's watch. Who are these people? Thirsty? What are you trying to pull? Nothing. You know I hate warm sake. Oh. What's the matter? Nothing. It's totally cool. Hmm. I wish I could get a look at what's backstage. I'll try these. I can't see squat with these. Yes, this is oddly arousing, but are you sure this is going to get us out of here? Yes, I'm sure if we can work up a good slippery coating of sweat, one of us will squirt out of here like a watermelon seed. Dein Schweiß. Isn't it fabulous? All the ultra supermodels who refuse to wear my clothes will soon be dead. Citizens, it is almost time for the finale and my triumphant entrance. Today, hot couture. Tomorrow, ready to wear. The next day, wash and wear. And then, underwear. And then, silverware. And then, housewares. And then, softwares. And then, topperware. I must say, it has been a very great pleasure getting to know you better. Bunny, the button. She's right. Your skin is silky smooth. 
Totally boss. I love her. Totally boss. Oh, there you have it. A mixture of coats, jackets, bloomers, and hats. All with a certain militaristic traveling circus. The models have chosen their leader, and it looks like the Contessa will dictate what the world will wear. Not if I have anything to do with it, Elsa. These are the real models. Oh. Those models are as fake as the Contessa Lee press on nails. Oh. Oh, really? I knew you were fake. Dude, was it my acting? Get up, girls. Fake models, attack! The ultra supermodels dive bomb on their doubles like skinny birds of prey. Uh-oh. Hey, uh -huh. crazy, absolutely. You spy men, you've ruined everything. Sorry, there's only room for two. How unfortunate for you. Ugh. Ow, you broke my face. One, catch yourself. Battles the elements. The Contessa battles time. Swiss Air. Yes, I'm being chased by spies and I have to get out of the country. Agent number one battles himself. This is weird. You're telling me. As she attempts to lose the double agents, the Contessa loses control of the toboggan. Fool! One more step and this ledge will fall away! Help, Mr. Spyman number two. I'm holding the real Mr. Spyman number one. There's a 50-50 chance I'm the real one. You know he's lying. All right. If you're the real agent number one, answer me this. Do you prefer ketchup or mayonnaise on your french fries? Oh, come on. You totally gave it away the way you said mayonnaise. Would you have said mayonnaise? Yes, because I really eat mayonnaise on my fries. So do I. Stop it. You're Corey Haim. You're Corey Haim. You're Corey Haim. Corey Haim. Forget it. I have another question. Oh, goody. More questions. Now I am sure to die. Pig already. Whoa. Here's the question. Do you think I look stupid? No. You look wicked cool, dude. Thank you, Corey. And this was supposed to be ah! my combat! Give me a hand, smart guy. A chopper rises from the ravine. It's Helena Troy. Good work, boys. I'm sure the Contessa will look fabulous in a bright orange jumper with stainless steel accessories. That was totally no fair. Ah, I should have hired Corey Feldman. Okay, here's a question. What's worse, looking like a stupid actor or having a stupid actor look like you? Are you saying Corey Haim is a stupid actor? I'm just posing a question. Well, I don't necessarily think that Corey's an idiot. Maybe. Well, I mean, but you want to be responsible for the actions of Corey Haim? No, so that's made some ridiculous idiot. There's going to be someone looking just like you, walking around, doing things. Look, I can call Corey and try to get Corey to settle down. He's no, he's just, you're probably going to rule his life now. Well, I mean, I think I probably have some legal... No right to control. Yeah, it's just like if you have a twin, you know, you can't control. But there's he free opted will. to look like me. There's free will yes, in the world. Yes, yes, but that's because by nature you are born looking like that person. He has been transformed by a freaking maniac into well, me. I think he's going to be going around doing stuff and well, you're I think for it. I will sue him. I will sue him. Okay, sue him.